Hi, this is Remy, and today I will show you how to change the Jenkins example, example provided by Ticketfly, to upgrade the Jenkins version that is coming up pre-configured with the Docker image. So the first thing you're gonna do is to run the Docker example provided um, with the first example. So what we're gonna do is to do a git clone of the repo. We're gonna go to the first example and then we're gonna use the Gradle command to do a docker build. This will build the image locally and I think because it was already done on my local it's, it's faster. Um, and now that you build it, you should be able to run it. So docker run to run. This is starting a Jenkins server and what I want to do at this point is to check the version of Jenkins that is uh, configured in my example. So this is Jenkins, if you look at the bottom, 2.19.4. What I want to do now is I want to upgrade my project to use the latest version with, which is as uh, as of now like 275 so for that I need to open the docker file and the form uh, file will have to be changed to use uh, the 275 version so and the name has changed from Jenkins to Jenkins slash Jenkins and the other thing I will have to do is to update the Gradle load properties so the Gradle command knows that the version is different too. So we are now using 275. So now that I have the new version, I should be able to do Docker build. And that will build the Jenkins locally using 275 now. And as you can see here, the first form uh, is getting the Jenkins 275 version from the official Jenkins Docker image. Uh, while this is uh, downloading all the plugins, let me give you a few words about uh, the Gradle command. So we uh, use this Gradle command just to um, make it easy uh, to work with various Docker projects. And that way you can go in any Docker project at Ticketfly or uh, in your company if you use this project, this model, and be able to find the same command to run, build, and push the image. So now that I've built my image, I should be able to run it. And for this demo, I want to check that the Jenkins version was upgraded to 275. So once Jenkins uh, is fully started, just gonna wait for the log to tell me fully started. Yes, so it's fully up and running. Now we should be able to go back to Jenkins, refresh this page, so this is localhost 8080. And you can see here, the version is not 275. So the last thing I wanna do, now that I have upgraded my version, you could also you know, run some tests, run your job, and uh, decide that you are okay with the upgrade. You could upgrade the plugins, you could, you could upgrade uh, many configuration, but once you're okay with the changes, in that case we just wanted to upgrade Jenkins, we're gonna do a docker push. And what docker push does is to copy the local image of the latest version, in that case 275, and will push it to docker hub. And one of the advantages of using this Gradle command is everything is configured uh, through Gradle. So as a user for this project, as a developer, you don't need to worry about like where is that project going, uh, what is the configuration that you need to add when you run, when you push, everything is encapsulated into Gradle. And now, just to validate that this uh, worked end-to-end, -end, I'm gonna go to the Docker Hub. I'm gonna look at the tags here. And I will see that there is a new tag that was created for 275 and it was pushed a few seconds ago. So in that example, we were able to see that you can uh, build locally uh, the example using the Docker command. 
with Gradle, and then with the same uh, Gradle uh, commands, you should be able to run and push the local changes to um, Docker Hub. So Gradle, in that case, provides some uh, encapsulation of the Docker command line, so you don't have to um, remember this long Docker command line, and you can have some uh, consistency across your projects using Docker, using the Gradle uh, example that we provided for this project. Thank you.